Hey, people, this is Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Part 24, I think. And so we are going to finish up the factory, and then we have another dungeon to do after this one. So let's do it to it. Move the barrel. Thank you for down. I don't like. I don't, I don't really particularly. I know I was complaining about this last part, but I don't particularly like it when games treat you like morons, and they're like, "Oh, you know, an empty oil barrel can be moved." Yes, yes, I could have figured that out on my own. Okay, gotta time this. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, you know, I can't do it yet anyway. I have to go fill it up first. I don't like this place at all. It's probably one of my least favorite dungeons, mostly because of all the unnecessary backtracking you have to do to solve the puzzles. And lots of ladder climbing, which seems to take forever on this game. Yes, I just saw that. See, there it goes again. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, that was totally... I like how this thing fixes itself. <laughs> Funny middle. We're coming up on an anime cutscene. And an important one. Luke, please take care when making a use of Muse Fire. Huh? Why? It's possible there's still some oil left lingering in these pipes. Possible? We've already seen it happening. So? What do you think will happen if all the flames spread those whole, those pipes? This whole factory could blow up. What? That's a very definite possibility. You look so sad. Huh. Like, like I'd make a stupid mistake like that. Hey, Thing, watch where you spew those flames, got it? Yes, Master. Safety first. Only you can prevent forest fires. I guess it's a good thing I mentioned it. Oh, my freaking god, with the skits. I just want them to stop. I hope this is the last one. Are we still far from the exit? Everyone looks so sad. God, uh, I don't know. This is the first time I've been in here myself. But you already said you discovered it earlier. Between the dust and the oily smell... I don't like this place one bit. Me neither. Then why don't you go back now? Absolutely not! Are you trying to get rid of me again? If you know you aren't wanted, why don't you just leave? What did you just say? Luke, Natalia is being mean to me. Luke, I cannot believe yet that you're taking the side of that child. Child? Child. That's enough. Could you all please be quiet? You're upsetting tear. Hey, don't look at me. I said quiet. Now! And they just walk off. Luke gets to have all the fun. Only because you're scared. But yeah, no more skits. No, climb the ladder. Oh, that was a total miss. That was that. Damn it. Come on. Damn it, Mew, you're annoying enough without having to repeatedly do this. Yay! Okay, we're almost done with this accursed place. This is apparently never ending oil because it can burn all it wants and it never dries up. Or the net flame never dies. Oh, video game physics. I believe I have to go all the way over here now. Yes, I do. <clears throat> I think that's a healing one, but I gotta kill the ghost first. Or he messes up my plans. So you want to fight? <laughs> Get 
he made it acid rain. That's terrible for the environment. Tyr and, and Natalia need to learn how to control their healing. They both heal me when I don't need it. Oh, over limit. Awesome. So did Tyr. What is it, level 15? Yes, it is. Yay, a healing one. That's what I needed. Usually whenever there's a healing one, you can immediately tell that there's a boss coming up. But that is true of most RPGs, although most Tales... I didn't really think Tales games really had healing save points until this game. So I know Tales of Symphonia didn't. I don't remember about Tales of Symphonia 2. I never played Tales of Vesperia, and I can't remember if Tales of Legendia does or not. I haven't played that game in years. Mostly because it's not very good. Everyone freeze. Something smells. We're in a factory full of oil. It smells greasy. Maybe it's from when the factory was running. No, it's too strong for that. Wait, I hear something. Is something there? It's a monster. I don't hear anything. No, there's definitely yep, something here. comes here. the creepy music. A monster? Attack! Look at you! Just a big old blob. Ah! Oh, here it comes! Gotta kill it! Kill it dead! Kill it with fire! Kill it with something! No oh, hideous purple mass! No, you are not allowed to cast magic. No, oh, too late. God. I wanted to do that. Hey, at least Jade avoided it. Except that, not that time. Why do I do so badly against bosses? Oh no! Aww, Luke died, and I only have one life bottle left. Oh, Luke, you were dead. How can you already be complaining? This thing has like twenty-two thousand health. Oh look, we knocked off all his slime. He just looks like a bug. Oh, a big jump. Get the over limit button. I believe, uh, yeah, over limit you can't be uh, staggered and you can't be knocked back and your attacks I think do more damage. But until you get, until you learn your mystic arts, that's pretty much all it's good for. Oh, yes. oh I may have to run out. That's why I got staggered. Ew! Pooped little bugs out. He's almost dead, monster. Ooh, knocked him down. Yay! He dead. Jade learned over an emit, and lucky end. So did Guy, so did Ennis. Not Natalia, she's not cool enough. And the computer characters, you activate their over limit on their own usually, and when they learn their mystic arts, they usually, they will activate them on their own as well. 
whether you want them to or not. What the hell was that thing? It's not one I've seen around here before. The inside looked like a spider. Well, it's hardly surprising that an abandoned factory has a few spiders, but... The oil it was feeding on may have caused a mutation due to phonon activity. Tear? Yes. Thank you. You saved me. I'm sorry for the trouble I caused you and everyone. Aww. So nice. It's all right. No, it's not. Don't drag us down, Natalia. By the way, where's this sewage facility? I imagine it's down below. Oh, Luke's bastardness is about to totally come blow up in his face. We're getting closer. And then he will finally stop. Hey, is that an emergency exit? Yep. Looks like it. There's Let's light on the look. other side. Yay, anime cutscene. They're my favorite. Especially this one. Hopefully it will render properly. Okay, if we lower the ladder there, we should be able to get outside. Yes, Master! Once we get out of here, it's on to Casadonia! Casadonia lies across the desert. There should be an oasis midway, so we'll stop there to rest. Guy, you head down first. Catch me if I slip. <laughs> You're telling me to do that knowing full well that I can't, right? Boy, that's some serious phobia to not even be able to touch women. I need you to get over your phobia, or we'll have problems once Luke and I are married. I don't know what that would be considered, desensitization therapy? Like where you just kind of force someone to do someone something they're terrified of? I imagine that would be pretty scary. Luke prefers much younger, cuter girls, don't you, Luke? You can call off that silly engagement any time. Excuse <laughs> me? Annis only wants his money. <laughs> Luke, you're despicable. What? Like this is my fault? Oh dear. Trying to hide your jealousy with bitter coldness. It's nice to see you all getting along so well. Are you blind? Oh, Luke, you still need to recognize sarcasm. We gotta get comedy before things get serious. <laughs> Dramatic music. It's Ash! And here's why he's Luke's and, uh, opposite. Hand over Ion now! It's you. They look the same. Dun dun dun. Why do I get the feeling that they added that scream in? Because his mouth wasn't even moving. Like, maybe that wasn't in the Japanese version, but the American translators felt it wasn't dramatic enough. Ash, Ion takes priority right now. I know! Aren't you the ladies' man? No, they still have the Tartarus captured. Boy, that was a lot more running for such a short distance in the game. He... he looks like me. What does this mean? Jade knows, but he's not telling. By the way, they took Ion and it's left. like, I know, but I'll only tell if someone asks. Because I'm trying to keep it a surprise. Oh! I let them get away! Regardless, we've now encountered the six god generals. The decoy is a failure. Wouldn't we be better off returning to Batical and going no, by ship? No, that would take forever. It would be a waste of time. What? Father still doesn't trust Malku. He'll have sealed the port against invasion once he dispatched the decoy. Let's go by land and search for Ion. If Ion were to die, it could affect this entire peace effort. That's right. Please, search for Ion. Even if it's while you're doing something else, please! It's your decision, Luke. Will we search for Ion as we go by land? Or will we turn over Natalia to his majesty and have him unseal the port? You can't do that! Luke, you know what I mean! I don't think he was even saying going to do that. Yeah, everyone shut up! Why am I the one deciding anyway? 
Well, you're the one in charge, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you did say that. You really are obnoxious. We go by land. We'll have all sorts of trouble if we don't take Natalia along. Ion, where could they have taken him? The land ship was headed east from here. That's the direction of the Oasis. We were planning on stopping there too. Luke, you'll chase after them, won't you? Yeah. That guy who looked like me, they called him Ash. Yeah, but you already knew that, didn't you? Man, that was creepy. Oh, silliness. Can we go now? It was raining and now we're suddenly at a desert. If it would load... There's no music. That's kind of freaky. Ash the Bloody. He looked just like Luke. A long-lost brother, maybe? I've never heard of anything like that, but... Natalia, do you know anything about that? No, Duke Fabra only has one son. There's no point in thinking about it with no information to go on. Asking Ash directly would be the simplest route, but we have other priorities right now. Isn't that right? Yeah, I'm worried about Ash, but for now we have to find Ion. We certainly do, and it seems Ash is the one who has abducted Ion. Perhaps we can get our question answered at the same time. Let's hope so. Anyway, we might as well start out for that oasis. Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Was well, this unavoidable destiny, or might it e even this be written in the score? Just tell them, you and your secrets. Oh well, let's just get on with it. Oh, the plants are back, only they're red this time. The world map music is broken. It turned evil. Up to head for the desert. I believe I'm heading the right way. Desert. Of course, I don't like this desert because it makes you walk like twice as slow. Ugh. That means it's much harder to avoid enemies. Like that one that's about to attack us. Hey, what the hell happened? Regroup, let's go. Yeah, you can't guard against me, I'll just break it. Fight me. Oh, God, I'll kill all the snakes. Guy, run away. Ooh, Natalia learned a new move. for what, like two seconds and we're already complaining? Oh, damn it, with the snakes. Get the garden. Such a downer in the celebrations. At least for now, I think. I can't remember if she does nicer things. I see the oasis. Come on, no more enemies. And stop taking forever to load. I don't know what it is about this part of the game with the desert and the ruins. It always royally freaks out my game. Oh, look, more enemies. Hmm, desert oasis. <laughs> the 
desert oasis. Peaceful little place where you can barely do anything. Answer me. Answer me. Ooh, no to yell. Ah, what the hell? Luke, is it those headaches again? Headaches? Ever since he was kidnapped, he'll occasionally get headaches, or sometimes even I like how this voices. is the first time we're mentioning this. Answer me, you drink! Who the hell are you? You know who I am. You look just like me. Ash! Where do you think you're going, idiot? Don't blame me if something happens to I. Where are you? The sound ruins. Though I doubt Drek like you can make it here. Yeah, not very nice. Luke, are you alright? Master, do you feel sick? Hold on, Luke. Hearing imaginary voices again? I doubt that was just my imagination. You said something about Ash. Did you mean that Oracle Knight? The voice I heard was definitely Ash's. He said he was with Ion in the Zao Ruins. I don't like the Zao Ruins. They're too big. They take forever. Ion's there? The Zao Ruins? From 2,000 years ago? Where are they? I'm afraid I don't know. I'd be most grateful if the leader of this mission would find them for him. You really like to be a jerk, don't you? So do you. you. Not at all. I'm so good-natured and honest, it almost hurts. <laughs> Colonel, please stop no, teasing Luke. Jade and his nonsense. Luke, let's ask the people here in the Oasis. Right. I believe this is how you, yeah, you heal yourself. Phew, I really needed that. It certainly is refreshing. I could just stay here forever. I really don't want to go back out there. I know what you mean. The thought is tempting. <laughs> then I presume the two of you are ending your journey here? Well, I'm sure it provi it's provided you with plenty of valuable experience, the sort you'd never, sort you'd never have obtained at the palace. Farewell, then, until we meet again. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? Nobody's returning to the castle yet. Come on, Luke. Hey, relax. Can't we just rest a little bit longer? No, we're going now. All right, all right, stop pulling. Well, well, she certainly seems to be easy to handle. Okay, thank you. I thought it was frozen. Well, that was easy. Oh, yeah, if you talk to this old guy right here, if you talk to the gardener at Luke's house um, three times, he continues the side quest to get Guy to learn moves. Guy Cecil. Or Cecil. Bye. Hod Citizen Registry. That wasn't an art. All I know is it involves fighting with the sword and the sheath. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, and on the next part, we're going to do the Zao Ruins. Fun times. So, uh, see you later.